Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to The French Seams. Thanks very much for joining me again for another video. This is all about what I'd like to get sewn up in summer 2023. So we're in the middle of May now, so I'd like to get these done maybe May, June, July, August time, depending on things will pop in, things will pop out, the usual, you know what happens. So with these are the things I would love to get sewn up. So I've got my stack of fabric here, I've got my trusty notebook right here, and I will get going. So just looking at this now, I think one of my summer plans should be to replaster this wall and to paint that wall, but this vlog is about sewing, not interior decor. Um, so first of all, before I get started, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everybody who's um, liked or left a comment or subscribed in any of my previous vlogs. Thank you very, very much. So again, a huge thank you to anybody who watched my two year YouTube anniversary video that came out. Thank you very, very much. And uh, I really do appreciate everybody taking the time to watch and to comment. Thank you very, very much. And I've just film finished filming my spring makes um, vlog, which hopefully should be out before this gets published. And the way scheduling goes and the way the weekends go. So right, I shall get going. And the first thing on my list is a very, very summery make, but I'm very excited about it. And it is going to be the um, Q dress from Nina Lee. So I have the picture of it right here. And I think it's version two or version B. I think it's basically going to be this version here without the cold shoulder detail. So this one here is just a beautiful sundress, buttons all the way down the front, uh, straps, uh, waist seam and some darts. I think it's really, really pretty. And for that, I'd like to use this wonderfully summery fabric that I was gifted very, very kindly from the lovely Catherine from Carlo Fabrics. And it's a bluey grey um, cotton poplin. Yeah, and it's got these little ice creams with little hearts in them, which are so cute. So I picked that up recently when I was um, down in Carla Fabrics, which is just great. So I just love this and I think it'd be really, really cute for a little summer dress. So I'm not quite sure about the buttons. Um, I might do fabric buttons or maybe clear buttons, depending on. Um, I'm wondering how, how I'll do some uh, ice cream placement, but I'm really looking forward to getting this um, this sewn up. I think it's going to be such a lovely little summery make. I've never made that pattern before, um, but yeah, I'm keen to give it a go. So that's going to be plan number one. Plan number two is another MET. So I just show that in my spring makes video. So I'll pop in a picture right here. It's a new pattern from Jennifer Lauren Handmade, but I'm going to make the solid front one with the grown on sleeves. And for that, I'm going to use my Flamingo jersey, which I bought a good few months ago, actually, when we had a, a lovely sewing meetup up in the Crafty Studio. And I just saw this and just knew I had to buy it. So as you can see from the back as well, I do love flamingos. They are my spirit animal and this beautiful quality cotton jersey. And I think it would look really, really nice in that pattern. I might do um, pink for the neckband and the um, and the little, um, I keep wanting to call them iron bands, they're not. <laughs> the fancy foot here. Um, I might do pink or I might just do a white depending on, but I think that would look really, really cute in that pattern. Um, I've just made it so I'm going to lengthen that pattern by an inch, I think, to get a better fit for it. But yes, I'm really keen to get this going. I think this would be a really, really cute summer make as well. Next up is a Lego organizer from my older boy who's just obsessed with Lego. And I recently got this fabulous Lego print fabric from Fabrics Galore. So thank you to the lovely Carrie from Thread Therapy for suggesting um, I get the fabric there. So it's just a lovely, um, almost kind of quilting cotton, but I think it's so fun. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm hopefully going to make him a little Lego bag. And for that, I'm going to use the um, from Apple Green Cottage, they have, a, it's called a DIY jewellery organiser that I've made a couple, I'll pop in a picture here, but I think I could scale it up to make a huge big one that he could just put on all his Lego in. So I think that'd be a really, really fun make. It's quite an easy, straightforward make um, out of the cotton, but I think it'd be really, really effective and wonderful for storing all his Lego in. Next up is also fabric from Fabrics Galore, and it is this beautiful eucalyptus cotton jersey that I just had to buy myself after I saw the Lego fabric. And it almost looks good, like it's got little goldy accents, but it's not, it's just um, a lovely color, kind of a goldy bronzy color. And the eucalyptus leaves are just beautiful. I think this is gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. So out of this, I'm going to make a Kilo Wrap dress. This so is going to be Kilo Wrap dress number four. But I think this would just be perfect for work. I think those colors are just gorgeous. Um, and I'm going to make, I am going to make the long sleeves and I'm going to make the knee length version, but because I think out of this cotton jersey would still be lovely for kind of spring, summer in the office. 
and then I think I have a pair of shoes that might go nicely with this and then you could put a little navy cardigan or maybe a bluey whitey cardigan over the top as well so I think this will look really really nice I think it's beautiful cotton jerk I think that would look really really pretty and I do love the Keeler wrap dress I really really do so last um the towards the end of last summer I realised that I'd never made myself shorts and I have a couple of ready to wear shorts that I wear constantly during the summer. I've had for years, I've probably had them for about 10 or 15 years and they're showing their age. So I really want to get shorts made up now when the weather is not shorts weather because I know my future self will thank me when it is shorts weather and I have beautiful new shorts to wear. So I've got a couple of patterns here. But the first ones I'd like to get made up are the sports shorts. And these came out last year from Friday Passion Company. Um, if you watch my previous vlog, you'll know that I hold up pages rather than having to put them into the vlog. Um, these came out as a free pattern or maybe a pay as you can uh, pattern. But they're for wovens and it's a lovely, lovely, real kind of a sporty style shorts um, with lovely binding and then elasticated waist. And I think they're really, really cool. So I'd love to give these a go. I don't have fabric for them just yet but I did see on the Carlo Fabrics Instagram account they have some beautiful linen and I think these look lovely in linen so I might have a think about that these are definitely on the plans for summer 2023 but I'll just have to find um, a really suitable fabric I do have flamingo cotton fabric do you think that would be too much maybe we shall see but yeah I think they're a lovely lovely pattern and as always the Friday Pattern companies have great instructions really really good um, for all these I should, as I was mentioned, I will link everything below and I will put in chapters so you can skip ahead to whatever you want to see. Next is more shorts and I've got Hayley from um, the Hay Meadows, thank for these. They are from the Sewing Revival, which I'd never heard of before. And it's a new pattern and it comes in trousers and it comes in shorts. So the front has a flat fronted front flat front and then the back is gathered with elastic but just the the way they've styled these shorts looks really really nice and I think they look really smart again maybe on that linen fabric um, and I think they look really nice they're exactly what I want just a nice kind of smart short but not a huge amount of fitting with the elasticated waist and I think they would look really really nice for summer so these two I think I've got one pair of shorts later as well but I'm hoping to get these shorts done up and if these shorts work out well may even look to doing the trousers in a linen which I think would look beautiful again for summer so again I'm on the hunt for fabric for these I'm not quite sure a full-length flamingo trouser would really cut it but you never know you never know so next up is going to be the magnolia dress so I recently bought two beautiful viscoses from beyond the pink door and I had thought of patterns that I wanted to make and then I showed that on one of my Friday sews and asked for a few recommendations. So my two patterns went out the window and I'm now using two patterns that I was recommended. So thank you very, very much. So if you recommended these, you know who you are and thank you. So first up is going to be the Deer and Doe Magnolia dress, which is just stunning. So it comes in a full length one with this very, very low uh, neckline. And it also comes in a shorter version with a crossover bodice and uh, beautiful flusher sleeves. And I would like to make this version. I've got a wedding coming up in July. And I think this would look beautiful for it. I think I might make it maybe a midi length as opposed to a short length. And in this, I would like to make it out of this beautiful viscous fabric from Beyond the Pink Door. So I would kind of call this a midnighty colour. It's not black, it's not navy. If I put it the right way, I'll have to figure out which way the flowers go. But it's a beautiful viscous fabric. It's just washed, so it's not particularly ironed. So I'm hoping to get that cut out and done relatively soon because I think I might need to twirl the bodice to get the, the fit really, really good. But I think this is just beautiful and I think it would look nice for a little summer wedding. I think very, very nice. So yeah, looking forward to getting that one done. Next up is another pattern that I hadn't realised and it is the Jill dress from Fibre Mood. And here it is and uh, apologies for my not colour printer but I think this is just beautiful. These don't do it justice at all but I think this, um, what you can see here, if you do, if you click on the link below you'll see a proper picture. It's quite a plain front with an elasticated waist but then at the back it's kind of got this keyhole back and then a button at the back. I think it's just gorgeous really really simple really elegant I think it's so nice and for that dress I'm going to use my other Beyond Pink Door fabric in this beautiful leaf print which I think is so summery and so almost tropical and I think it would go with navy it would go with blue go with white I think it would be absolutely gorgeous so let's see if I hold that out properly I think that's absolutely gorgeous fabric so I think that would look lovely for summer I've made a few fibre mood um, patterns before and I did remember to print the version with seam allowance because they come with seam allowance and without seam allowance. So I've definitely printed the one, I hope. 
with the seam allowance. So next up is a few beach bags. So by beach bags, I mean kind of casual bags. You can just chuck stuff in if you're going for a day trip, things like that. Not necessarily a beach, but just that kind of uh, canvasy tote look. And these are two fabrics that I bought recently when I met the lovely Agatha from In Agatha's Cottage down in the fabric outlet in Newbridge. So this is one of them, this beautiful flamingos. Again, I hope you're seeing a theme. And the other one is this beautiful bird fabric. And there are two canvases. I think I bought a metre of each. And so two metres cost me 10 euro, which is just fabulous. So I'm not really sure which pattern I'm going to use. I might self draft one. I might use an incomplete stitches pattern because they are wonderful, but just something, a kind of a hold all, um, something you can chuck stuff in, um, something you can throw in the washing machine at the end of the day. Uh, so I'm going to look to get um, webbing for these as well. So you can have nice big straps, but I think these will look wonderful and quite hard wearing for those um, summer, item, summer outings, I should say. So yeah, really looking forward to that what doesn't say summer than a couple of flamingos um, next up is a jumper so again when I was down in Carla Fabrics I picked up this beautiful sparkly French terry it matches gorgeous kind of an oatmeal colour and this has got silver glitter in it and then I found this ribbing with gold glitter in it and it is just beautiful. I think those match very, very well together. So I wanted to make a little jumper. This is a loop back French terry, but it's quite thin. So I think it'd be perfect for a little summer jumper. And I can't quite decide. So I was thinking, do I just want to make a Tilly and the Buttons Billy sweatshirt, which I've made a load of, which I really, really like. Do I want to make a Sloan sweatshirt, um, like in my previous video with the sewing machines on it, with the kind of the yoke, I was thinking that the yoke detail look, could look quite nice. Maybe add in a little bit of trim. Or I was going to make the Love Notions Whistler sweatshirt that I made back in March in the beautiful um, green French terry with the beautiful shawl collar and the buttons and the massive big pockets. Because I think in the evening, Here's me thinking of my glorious summer. It'll happen. It's been a lovely warm day, but it's getting slightly chilly in the evening and you can put on this lovely sweatshirt then in the evening. So this is where my mind goes, looking out of the, the dreary sky outside. So I'm kind of leaning towards a Whistler sweatshirt. I think that would look really nice in the shawl collar and you'd get some nice buttons to go along with it. But let me know what you think because I'm not really wedded to any particular pattern as of yet. My next plan for summer is another Helen's Closet Gilbert shirt. So I made one of these towards the end of last summer, so I really didn't get the benefit of it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to wearing mine again. I'll pop in a picture. I made it in this beautiful um, white linen fabric from Beyond the Pink Door. It's a beautiful pattern. I made the short sleeves, but made them much shorter than they are in the pattern. And it has a lovely tie front as well. And when I saw this fabric as a remnant on the Carla Fabrics website, it just was perfect. So again, just out of the wash, not ironed. Which way do the cherries go? Both ways. It's very, very thin blue stripes and it's got these little embroidered cherries, which I think are just lovely. So I think a little shirt out of this, maybe kind of verging on the kind of the Daisy Duke, I think the Daisy Duke vibe with a little knotted shirt. But I think this would make a really, really pretty, um, pretty summer shirt. So it's just a cotton, quite thin cotton, but I think it would look lovely in that shirt. It's a really, really beautiful construction. The Helen's Closet instructions on that shirt are fabulous. It is a full um, concealed yoke. Everything is just wonderful. It's a really, really nice pattern. I really enjoyed making it last year. Um, the only thing I must remember is that the bust starts need to be altered from my last version. So I must remember to do that. Um, but I think this would look really, really cute in that. And I think you could wear this with jeans. You could wear it with um, my new shorts that I'm going to be making. So yeah, I'm really pleased um, to get started on that. And I think I got, I think it was 1.25 meters I got in this remnant, which I'm hoping will be enough for that shirt. I'm pretty sure it will be. So yeah, another really, really cute make. Um, next up is, this is a bit of a wild card, but uh, you, as you're aware, I'm going through a love affair with Love Notions Patterns and they recently had a sale. So obviously I totally went on their website and just stayed there for hours looking at each of their beautiful patterns, deciding what I'd like. And I found these and they're called the Sunday Romper. So I have never worn anything like this before, but I was really, really taken by it. So it comes, as always, Love Notions do in various styles. You can do dresses, you can do trousers, cropped trousers, little skirt and little rompers with the shorts. And I just thought this was the cutest pattern. So it is for knit fabrics. Um, which is really nice. You get a little cotton jersey and do this little romper with pockets. I just think they would look really, really cute for summer. I really do. So I'm hoping I can get this done up. I think it would be very, very cute. Love and Ocean's Passions are great. Um, 
really easy to assemble the PDF pattern, which I really appreciated. You don't have to trim any of the pages and there are layers, which means you only have to print out the size that you want, which is brilliant when you're printing everything from home. Any shortcut is really, really appreciated. So yeah, I'm hoping to make up this little version here. Again, no fabric as of yet, but if you see any fabric that would look quite nice in this, maybe a stripe, maybe a kind of summery fabric I don't know maybe I'm just thinking I'm going down the kind of the watermelon flamingo route <laughs> I'm just hoping for a nice summer but I think that look really really cute so this is kind of a wild card but one I really would like to give a go really really would um, next up is another Love Notions pattern because I think I bought two in their sale. They recently had 40% off, which was fabulous. And these are more shorts, but I thought they were really, really cute. And they're called the Summer Kai Pants Capris and Shorts. So I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Is it Kai? K K C A Y E. They come in full length trousers and these really kind of cool V parts on the ankles. And then these are the shorts. And again, they have a flat front and then a, an elastic back. And they have little pockets here as well. These are for um, woven. Yeah, wide leg and palazzo widths, two levels of flowy style. So yeah, it must be for woven fabrics. But I think these are really, really cute as well. So you could do those in a nice viscose, maybe a very, very thin linen again. So I was really taken by these. Not convinced by this, if I'm perfectly honest, but I think the shorts look really, really great. So yeah, so that's three short patterns. So we'll see how we go. Again, no fabric as of yet. Next up is a little accessory, and this is called the Hipster Pouch. And this is from the lovely Adam from Adam Sews. It's his new pattern that came out um, only a couple of weeks ago, I think. So it's one of those um, bum bags that we call them that I used to wear in the 80s. But um, so it's got a zip in the front and then a zip at the back here as well. It's got all the hardware, like the little D rings and the sliders and everything. And I thought it was really, really cute. And I really wanted to make one because we're now almost out of the stage of having the buggy, which is where you can just fling everything to the buggy. And I'm now going down the kind of the backpack route. So I'm totally weighed down with everything in a backpack. But I just think having one of these crossbody would be really handy that you can have, say, phone, keys, wallet, sun cream, whatever you need. I think this would be really, really useful. So when I saw this pattern, I thought it looked really, really cute. And then I saw the challenge from Blossom Sandwich. It's called So Fruity 23, which is so something up in a fruity fabric. And this has been going for a couple of years, I believe, and I've never had an opportunity to be part of it. And then I remembered that a couple of years ago, my mum gave me this little tiny bit of fabric and it's got blueberries on it. So it's a cotton. I believe it's from an American company in Massachusetts, I think, when I googled the, the selvage. Um, and it's little blueberries and I think it's really, really cute. And I think that'd be a lovely little summer bag. So I've been researching the webbing and the D-rings and the clasps and all that kind of hardware. And I think I found most of them on um, Culture and Stitch. Um, they also have them on Ecobe as well. So I'll do a little recce and see what colours suit and what clips I need and all that kind of hardware. I quite like that side of um, of bag making. But I think this would make a really, really cute summer bag and I'll be able to enter it into the So Fruity 23. And I do love blueberries. I really do. They're one of my favourite fruits. So I think that's very, very cute. So um, next up, we're almost at the end. Next up is um, swimming towels. So if you've been watching recently, we're now big into swimming in the French Seams household. We go every week. The boys just love it. And but for some reason, the pool is freezing. I don't know why it is heated to a certain extent, but it's freezing cold. So you get out and the boys are standing there chattering. So I really wanted to make them one of the pullover hood towel things. And I mentioned this previously in one of my blogs. And again, you lovely people came through with this recommendation. And it's a style art pattern the name of which I've forgotten, so I'll link below. Um, but it's a little towel and it's got a hood and it's options for a pocket and um, it's bound by a binding all around the edges. So I think it looks really, really smart. So I was wondering where to get a towel. Do I just buy a towel in a shop and cut it up and try? But then again, I got a fabulous recommendation of where to buy toweling fabric. And I didn't realize this was a thing that you could buy toweling fabric per meter. So thank you very, very much. And so I bought some to try it out. And this is from Vibes and Scribes down in Cork. And it's basically what it says on the tin. It's just meters of toweling fabric. So this has been through the wash. 
It's fabulous quality. Um, it's one of the really absorbent towels and it's basically just navy toweling. So I'm really keen to get this going. I actually think it'd be a really fun make. If this works, I'm making us all hooded towels, which would be really handy to throw in after going to the swimming pool and also hopefully for our summer holidays. But yeah, so it's just plain navy toweling. And again, navy is a great colour, so it doesn't show any stains or anything. And um, I'm just going to have a route around for some binding. I know you can do the continuous bias binding method where you basically get a couple of fat quarters. You can do some sort of witchcraft in um, in sewing them together and making a continuous loop of metres and metres of bias binding. I can use my lovely bias binding maker as well. So I'll link that tutorial for the continuous bias binding uh, method below. But I think I could bind the edges and it would look really, really nice. So yeah, that's a really fun make that I'm keen to get started as well for a little summer, a summer hoodie towel. So thank you very much, the lovely lady who recommended that. Then find two more, no, three more, apologies. Next up is a Farrah top. So I'll pop in a picture here again of my Farrah dress that I made recently from Chalk and Notch. I keep talking about it, I love it. So I would like to make the top version of that. So again, I don't have any fabric, but I'm going to have a search around for some lovely, light, flowy, summery, viscose fabric. It's got the beautiful flutter sleeves, and then I'm just going to have it say waist length, just as a little summer top. So I think that would look really, really pretty, just as a kind of more dressy make. I think it would look very, very nice. Then the last two things are more kind of out of necessity really for my little boys. One of them is summer shorts, again hoping for some lovely weather. And from for that I'm going to use this lovely fabric that the lovely Agatha gave me when I met up with her the last time and his little dinosaurs in eggs which is cute. So it's a cotton jersey. So again I'm asking for your help on knit children's shorts patterns if any of you have them because I've got a lot of um, trousers, pyjama bottoms, things like that, but nothing for knit shorts. If you do have any recommendations, I'll be very, very glad to hear them, but I think they would be adorable. I think there's half a metre here, which I think for shorts would be absolutely perfect. That'd be very, very cute. And then finally is bucket hats. So I did make my boys uh, some last year. So he's, here's older boys, one in dinosaur pin fabric last year, which is lined in daisies. Um, and he just loves this and it still fits him this year which is great but I'm keen to make a few more because he needs they need a few for crash and a few for home and they go missing and all that kind of stuff so um, I'm going to use the Lego fabric again because he found that uh, the other day and was totally taken by it and I always use the Waves and Wild um, Sandcastle bucket hat pattern which is really really great so yeah that's going to be another kind of um, yes make out of necessity really but I'm perfectly fine making sun hats if it means we get sunny weather so that is a roundup of everything I would like to get made for summer. I know it seems quite a lot, but I'm thinking this will probably span three, four months. I'm thinking some of them might pop out, some others might pop in. I all, I'm like a magpie, I will get distracted by something shiny. I definitely will be. I'll get distracted by some new pattern or by some new fabric, but that's the fun of it. Um, so hopefully I'll keep you posted on all of these on my Friday sews to let you know how I'm getting on. If you've made any of these patterns, please do let me know if there's any pitfalls for any of them. Again, if you have recommendations for fabric for any of my makes, if you have recommendations for patterns for any of the, the ones that I have yet to have a pattern for, I'd really, really appreciate it. As always, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. I hope you're all well. If you'd like to give this video a thumbs up, I would love that. And please leave a comment below. Let me know what you're sewing for summer or winter, depending on your hemisphere. But thank you very, very much. I hope you have a lovely week and I will talk to you all again very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.